Hi, I'm Jamie Simmons. I'm the product manager for Zipwick at Imtra Corporation. Today I'd like to go over some simple maintenance tips for your Zipwick system. To start off, I'd like to talk about boats that are on the trailers first, and then we'll go into boats that are living in the water for the majority of their life. First off, for boats that are in the trailer, they're, if they're uh, staying on the trailer most of the time, they're not living in the water, you don't have to paint the units with any paint. Keep them nice and clean. Occasionally when you pull the boat, you can put the units down in manual, spray them off of fresh water, make sure everything's nice and clean in there and put them back up. One other thing to keep in mind for our boats that are on a trailer, you wanna make sure that your units are in the up position when you're coming up on the trailer. Uh, not that it happens often, but you can damage the blades. If they're in the down position, your bunks are gonna line up perfectly with the blades. You could damage them when you're pulling the boat out of the water. So you wanna make sure that if your bunks do line up with your zip wakes, that they are in the up position when you're coming into the ramp. So now I'd like to get into um, boats that are living in the water for the majority of their life. Uh, you definitely want to paint these units with uh, Standy Anna Fallon. Um, really important. Don't need to scuff up the units at all. Paint the whole unit. You want to make sure one of the most important parts though is where the blade goes on the side and on the bottom. You want to mask that off with masking tape and then you could paint the units. You don't want any paint going inside these internal moving areas and causing friction. So that's a really important thing to keep in mind. So paint those every season. Clean them up. And if your boat is gonna live in the water in that situation, you're also gonna to wanna to utilize the auto clean function that's in the system. So each system has an auto clean function. Um, you put it on, you pick, pick a duration anywhere from 24 hours up to once a week, twice a week, three times a week. Um, and basically what it's gonna do is bring the blades down, cycle them, and there's a scraper on the backhand side of here and it's gonna remove all the growth off the blade, keeping those units nice and clean. Um, anytime the boat comes out for service for boats that are in the water, what you're going to want to do is remove these front plate screws, pull the front plate off, pull the blade down. You can simply power wash the whole area, uh, clean it up. You're going to put these fasteners back in on the front plate. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure you get a torque wrench. Okay. So, uh, all the fasteners in the zip bike system on the servo and in the front plate are very torque sensitive. The, the servo screws, which are inside that hold the servo to the back plate, are two newton meters. And your front plates, which you're going to be doing, front plate screws, which you're going to be doing for your, every time the boat comes out of the water, you want to clean them and power wash it. Those are going to be at five newton meters. So uh, if you don't have a handy little torque wrench, I'd advise you to go out and pick one of these up. Um, great little tool to have, and this will make sure that your torque settings are properly set. Once you're done with that, every time uh, doing your maintenance, pulling the boat out of the water, doing the power washing, retorque the units, what you're going to want to do is go into the system information under interceptor setup, and you're going to want to select the uh, interceptor check. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to do that sweep cycle that we talked about, and it's going to send an amp reading back to the head unit. And that's going to let you know that your units are now are torqued properly and they're operating under the right amp zone before the boat goes back into the water. So that's a really nice feature. If for some reason you happen to over torque them or you put it back incorrect, at that point it's gonna tell you something's wrong and then you know you have to address it before the boat actually gets back in the water. So those are a couple tips I have for you for maintenance with the Zipwake system. I hope you guys have a good season. I look forward to seeing you on the water.